You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. The City of Prestonsburg and the Floyd County Health Department have received a grant allowing them to place opioid rescue kits throughout the county. These kits include naloxone, instructions on how to use it, and are accessible 24 hours a day. Floyd County ranks third in overdose um, deaths um, in the state of Kentucky, and there's a huge initiative at the state level. Of course, we all are here for one thing, to save lives. Um, we all have been touched by someone in our families, friends, that um, possibly have passed away due to an overdose and we just want it pushed out all over the city to um, to help save lives. Currently boxes are located at City Hall, Archer Park and the David, Auksher and Allen Volunteer Fire Departments. The Narcan we give out to our participants during our program so besides their participants need it, their family members and friends need it because you never know when someone will experience an overdose so you want to be ready for that. Um, so these boxes help that to get out into the community so you may not know where to go get it and you're like, oh, there's a box in front of City Hall. You know, I just found out my child, you know, or my husband or even my girlfriend has been using. I might need that. Um, so, like I said, we were trying to branch out into the community. A national study showed that opioid overdose deaths decreased by 14% in states after they enacted naloxone access laws. So anytime we save a life, period, or help someone else save a life, we're gonna to try to act on it and we're gonna to try to make sure that our public has access to anything we can get our hands on, which will help them. Like I said, a family member may need it. You may know your neighbor, you may know someone. Uh, it may be a child, it may be a parent, but we need to make this available to them. The city wants to ensure those seeking naloxone that the boxes are not monitored and are completely free to the public. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.